Hi there, let's talk about some Java basics today about good old enums. And for that, I created a main class which has a teeny tiny main method, calls another method, build credit card. And in here, imagine you would basically try and charge a user's credit card for your web application or something else. And um, it doesn't make much sense that build credit card returns void. It should return a couple of things like the charge was okay, then something like um, there was an error because the user's credit card expired, something like that. And uh, for that, you can usually use enums, something like a status. And then you just map these cases. So, okay, the charge was successful. Then you had invalid CVC at the security card on the back of the uh, security code on the back of the card did match. You have something like expired card all these different cases. And now imagine down here, we just return, we always return, doesn't make much sense, but we always return invalid CVC for now. Right, then up here, you can extract the status and maybe print it out in the next line. Let's see if that works, run the main method, and in the console, we get status equals invalid CVC, which is exactly what we wanted. Now, this is where it stops with a lot of people with enums. But then again, enums can be much more actually behave just like your regular class. And uh, for that, imagine we don't just want to have the status enum, but we also want to save a message with each enum, like a real error message, or rather in real life, a message key. So you can look up the error message in a resource bundle later on and even internationalize the message. But for now, we're gonna hard code the message. So we're just gonna call a constructor which doesn't exist yet, invalid CVC, sound like your security code did not match. Right, let's create the constructor. Then you wanna create the field <clears throat> as well, something like that. And obviously now um, you have to put in messages for the other enums as well. And um, here you could say, sorry, but your card expired years ago. Something like that. And obviously it doesn't stop here either. So you can simply create getters, setters. You could even have your own methods here. So here we just return the message. And then later on down here, you simply say, well, Give me not the enum itself, the enum's value, but the enum's message. We run our program again, and now we get your security code did not match. Now having these message keys later on makes sense in a lot of cases, and we'll have a look at properties, resource bundles, and all that kind of stuff together with enums in the next episode next week. So just a couple more days. See you next week.